Hi children, good afternoon. Today again I am talking about uh, class six. Sorry, class nine, chapter six. Sorry, chapter six. Continuation. Parallel lines and transverse. Parallel line. There is no confusion. You study parallel line. What is the transverse? I am talking about transverse. Transversal, see, two lines. This is not parallel. Suppose this is line L. This is line M. Line L, line M. And this is line N. So here N is the transversal. When a transversal is intersecting line, we are getting eight angles. When a transversal is intersecting, not to see two lines. Transversal means like this only. Touching the two lines at different points. Transversal. We studied it before. A line with intersect two or more lines at different points. I'm talking about transversal. What is a transversal? Or you write this one, not transversal, transversal. What is a transversal? Same thing what we studied in class 7 and 8. A line with indexed two or more lines. A line which intersects. Any doubt is that you have to ask me? It intersects two or more lines. Two or more lines at different points. At different points. That is called a transverse. Underline this transverse. Two or more lines at different points. This is a line, this is another line, touching here, it is not a transverse. No, it is not a transverse. This is a line, this is another line, and you see the green line is coming. So the green line is the transverse, it's a transverse. Or Two or more line, not one line. A line which intersect two or more line, two line. Now suppose three line, no problem. This is a transverse. Okay, I think you understood transverse. A line which intersect two or more lines at different points. Different points. Here we can see one point here, another point here, another point here. Here also one point here, one other point here. Two or more points. This is not a transverse because two lines are there, but it is not touching in two points. I think you understood the transverse. Now look here. We are talking about parallel lines and the transverse. Please underline that parallel lines and transverse. Look here one line. Then another line. Let me take another line. Suppose it is parallel, like, like a railway track or your textbook, notebook line, that is that. Now, two lines are here, talking about two lines, two parallel lines. The distance will be same. The distance between them, they will not touch. Now I am taking the blue line. See? Okay, fine. Here you can see the line. Blue line, blue. Let me draw and trying straight line. Okay, fine, good. You don't know a blue line. L, M, N. And is the transversal because it is touching, it is cutting, it is intersecting two parallel two lines in two different points. See. This is P 
and this is Q suppose. Two lines, two points, three lines are there. So our module is when two parallel lines are intersected. See, before I draw two lines, now two parallel lines was intersected by a transverse. We are getting certain properties. L is parallel to M. So first thing we can say, N is the transverse, you know transverse. We know, we studied before, we are getting eight angles. Angle one. Angle two, angle three, angle four. Four angles here. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. You are getting eight angles. Any order you can do one, two, three, four. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You are getting we know certain things are the alternative angles and co interior angles, exterior angles, interior angles. And talking about here exterior angle one and two exterior angle, angle eight and seven exterior angles, outside angle. Now interior angle three, four interior angle, six and five are interior angles. Now, when two parallel lines are intersected, intersected by a transversal, here I show this one. First thing is, corresponding angles are equal. What is it? Corresponding angles are equal. Which are the corresponding angles? I can say angle one, angle five on the top top. First thing is corresponding angles. Angles are equal. All of you, please note this one. When a transversal intersect in two parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal. You can see here corresponding angles. Many corresponding angles are equal. Many, many, many we can see. How many? Look. Here. This is one and two, one and four, then down four and eight corresponding angle. Two, which is the corresponding angle of two? Six, two and six corresponding angle, top, top. Then three and seven corresponding angle, three and seven. So corresponding angles are equal. That means angle one is equal to angle two. Then angle, no, the angle, not angle two. This is angle, what is this angle far? Angle one is equal to angle far. This is not two. There's a linear pair. You can say angle one is equal to angle far. Then angle one is equal to angle far. 4 is equal to angle 8. Angle 4 is equal to angle 8. Next. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. More, one more. Angle 3 is equal to angle 7. No need to buy yet. Remember and study. 1, 2, 3, 4. Any name you can give the numbers. So corresponding angles are equal. Next one. Alternative interior angles are equal. Alternative interior angles are equal. Alternative interior angles are equal. What is that? Which are the alternative interior angles? One is equal to four, corresponding angle. Now here look. Four. Four is equal to eight we did. Corresponding. Now 4 is equal to 6 also. See, alternative, this is inside interior angle. 
four is equal to six. Second condition, alternative interior. Interior decoration, you know, interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal alternate interior angles. So it is very clearly angle four. Alternate interior angle six. Angle four is equal to angle six. Then angle three is equal to angle three is equal to angle four. Here you can see angle three. Here angle three is equal to angle four. Angle three is equal to angle four. Like this. Here it is cross alternate interior angle like. Alternative interior angle. Angle 3 is equal to angle 1. Now, exterior angle also. Same property is coming. Alternative exterior angles are equal. Now, I am talking about interior angles. Alternative interior angles are equal. Now, one more thing. One more thing you understand. Please. Interior angle on the same side. Let me co interior angle, third one. Co interior angle. One name is a consecutive interior angles or co interior. We alternative it all. Now co, co interior angles. Consecutive interior angle or co interior angles. Co interior angles are supplementary interior angle co interior angles are supplementary not equal co interior angles are supplementary that means add up to 180 degree co interior angles add up to 180 degree or supplementary understand both are same Supplementary. You study that means added to 180 degree. Added to. Added to 180 degree. Okay. That is supplementary. So which are the co interior angles? Co interior angles. We can see angle 4. All of you look here. Angle 4 and angle 5. Angle 4. And angle 5. No angle 4 plus 5, not angle 4 is equal to angle 5. So angle 4 plus angle 5 that is equal to 180 degree. Then one more thing angle 3 plus angle 6 that is equal to 180 degree. All of you please study this one. What I told today. I told you about transversal. We are getting corresponding angles. Corresponding angles, you can see corresponding angles. Then I told about the co-interior, sorry, alternative interior angle. Alternative interior angles are equal, alternative. Then co-interior angles are supplementary, added to 180 degree. It is very interesting. We can see alternative exterior angle also equal. You can see here three, here one and what is this seven, and two and eight, like that equal alternate co exterior angle also properties there. Same, same. We can see by seeing, you can see. All of you please write this one. When a transversal is intersecting through parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal, alternative interior angles are equal. Co interior add up to 180 degree. That is what we are talking about. You can see in the textbook 6.4 parallel lines and the transversal. 6.4. Then 6.3 axiom. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, each pair of corresponding angles is equal. Corresponding angles. Are equal. 
each pair of the corresponding angle is equal. That is what, what I told, 6.3. In the textbook, you can see 6.3, that is axiom. All of you, please look at it. Axiom, it is a truth only. Again, if a transverse enters a true line such that a pair of corresponding angles is equal, is a converse of the corresponding angles are equal, then it's a corresponding is equal. If a transverse in, intersect two parallel lines and the parallel lines intersect the corresponding angles are equal on angle, corresponding angles will be equal, equal area. If corresponding angles are equal, if a transverse cell intersect two lines, so that the pair of corresponding angles is equal. Then the two lines are parallel to each other. Corresponding angles equal and line parallel equal. If you studied well, you will get nice mark. You got nice mark means you studied well. I'm going to do the same money. No need of talking too much about it. Okay? That is it. Now listen here, all of you, please. Now, 6.2 theorem, we are talking about theorem is the action 6.3, 6.4. Now the theorem 6.2. Next page, please. 6.2, this is a theorem. Exercise also 6.2. If a transverse index a true parallel line, the neat pair of Alternate interior angles is equal. Same thing. If a transverse intersect two parallel lines, two parallel lines. If a transverse intersects two parallel lines, each pair of alternate interior angles equal. That means you know alternate interior angles, they are equal. And one more alternate interior angle is each pair is equal. Can you see red color? Red color. They are equal. Then the lines are parallel. We can say that is the theorem. Then the lines are parallel. Suppose we know. Suppose this is 70 degree. We can say this is 110 degree. Correct or not? We studied. Linear pair. If this is 70, the according to this 70 degree, 70 degree, this is 110 degree. See, 70 degree, 70 degree, 110 degree, 110 degree. You know, total will be 180 degree. Again, this is, if it is 70, it will be 110. Am I right or not? Linear pair. Again, if this is 110, it will be 70. Yes or no? Linear pair again. If this is 70, this will be 110. If this is 110, this will be 70 linear pair. If this is 70, 110. Yes? Now what is happening here? This is all correct. 70, 70 vertically opposite angle. Now 70, 70. Again we are getting this is 70. And this is 110. This is what we are talking about. Each pair of alternative interior angles are equal. Yes. Corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Yes. Exterior angle. Alternative exterior angles also equal. So don't forget this one. Okay. So you have to understand alternative interior angle. Alternative exterior angle, co interior angle, interior and exterior, there is no confusion. Interior and exterior, and linear pair, you are using them. Two feathers, you can see that. Now, 6.3. If a transverse intersect, 6.3. If a transverse intersect two lines such that a pair of alternative interior angles equal, then the two lines are parallel. See? This point to if a transverse intersect two parallel lines, then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. Now, if a transverse into two lines such that pair of 
alternate interior angle is equal, then the two lines are parallel, same thing, 6.3. Now, please come to the 6.4. If a transverse intersect two parallel lines, then such, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of a transfer supplementary. Supplementary. So interior angles are supplementary. Now again 6.5. If a transfer intersect two lines such that a pair of interior on the same side of a transfer supplement, then the two lines are five. Same thing we are telling in the reverse course. A is equal to B, B is equal to A, like that one. If co-interior angles are supplementary, the lines are parallel. Okay, that is a theorem that also we can prove. Now, the proof is not required. Only understand that. 6.6. Lines parallel to the same line. If two lines are parallel to the same line, parallel to each other, that means lines which are parallel to the same lines are parallel to each other. What is it? Lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. This line is parallel. Now look here. Here another line is the suppose this is the blue line. Line N, line M, line N. L is parallel to M, L parallel to M, M is parallel to N, sorry, not equal to, M is parallel to N, parallel to N, L parallel to M, M parallel to N, so L is parallel to N, that is it. L parallel to N. That is it. It is not hard. Line which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So, M is parallel to N. L is parallel to N. Understand L is parallel to M. So, M is parallel. Then L is parallel to N. M is parallel to N. Clear? This property can be extended more than two lines also. That means that is some examples are given here. You can see example four like that. You can see, please. So don't confuse. Line parallel. L is parallel to M. So then M is parallel to N. Then L is parallel to N. M is parallel to N, M is L is parallel to N, M is parallel to N like that is parallel. Parallel, parallel, parallel like this. So understand transversal, whatever be that, please understand. So in class seven, please, all of you, please check this one, what we discussed today. We are talking about parallel lines and the transversal. I told you what is parallel lines. Example also, you know, transversal. A line which intersects two or more lines at different points. Understand this one. It's very important, this definition. All of you, please look your notebook. A line which is which intersects two or more lines at different points. Different points, I told you the example. Then after that, transversal you understood parallel line. Then next, we are talking about Parallel line and transfers. Here the property. Here you can see the blue, green color and red color. L and M, the lines are parallel is given. So if they are parallel only. When our transversal is there, eight angles we are getting. Here when the parallel, when a transversal is intersecting two parallel lines, in the set in two parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal, alternate interior angles are equal, co interiors are supplementary, co interior angles are supplementary. I think you understood this one. 
okay don't count his class 7 class 8 we studied now class 9 also as a theorem we are studying so very important we need in class 10 also don't confuse alternate interior angle alternate exterior angle co interior angle corresponding angle okay so next after third page what we did something here okay example or something angle like that axioms and theorems is point three is point four is point five is all are same almost same here two lines are parallel then if they are parallel to another line it also parallel lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other Lines which are parallel, L is parallel to M, L is parallel to N, so L is parallel to M. L is parallel to N, L is parallel to M, M is parallel to N. See, lines which are parallel to the same line, L parallel to M, L parallel to N, then M and L are parallel, M parallel to N. I think it is clear. Or any way you can explain this one. Now listen here. All of you, please, please. Only five minutes. Listen. And give me here. Two lines. And a transverse. Maybe a transverse like this I can draw. This is the transverse. Suppose it is parallel. And get this line is. Parallel, parallel I am talking about. Green, let me use this green color. This is parallel. I am giving the name P, Q, and a small letter we can use, P, Q, R. We know we are getting eight angles. So, suppose I gave this angle. This is 60. So immediately we can say 60. This is corresponding angles are equal. 60. Yes. Because P and Q are parallel. P and Q are parallel. P parallel to Q. And R is the transversal. R is the transversal. Okay. Now listen here. I can find out every angle. If it is 60, it will be 60. Corresponding angles. Now we are getting this is 60. We go vertically opposite angle. Or alternative interior angles are equal. Now look here, if this is 60, we can say 180 minus 60, this is 120. If this is 120, this will be 120. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. It will be 120. Vertically opposite angle or what I can say, linear pair. So this will be 60. Very fast we can find out this will be 60. Sorry, 120. No, 60. This will be 120. Correct? 120. What do we observe? Corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Alternative angles are equal. 60, 60. We can find out all angles 120, 120. Now, co interior angle 60 plus 120, 180 degree. 120 plus 60, 180 degrees, correct? So that is why we are getting three properties. When a transversal R is intersected by intersecting two parallel lines P and Q, we are getting eight angles. Then corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Alternative interior angles are equal. Co-interior add up to 180. 
this four property all of you write this one now homework suppose i am drawing like this one line another line a transversal which is the transversal here so this is a transversal now listen suppose this is a this is b this is c c is the transverse now i gave one angle here this angle is given this is 55 please find out angle angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 1 2 angle 3 angle 4 Angle five, angle six, angle seven, angle eight. All of you, please find out all angles. Find all angles. This is the homework. Okay, one angle is given fifty-five. Try to find out all angles. Okay, okay then. Thank you. Have a nice day.